Alright, welcome back to Adobe Muse CC. In the last tutorial, we pretty much left off a wrap about this. I did swap out some of the images here, but uh, we were working with images, and now we're going to work with uh, text in Adobe Muse. So check it out. Uh, we have a text tool here, type tool and vertical type tool. So the vertical type tool pretty much does type that goes down vertically. Uh, which typically is unusual. Uh, most people use the regular standard type tool. And the way it works, you can basically click and start typing away. Or if you want to draw out a uh, text field, you can simply click and drag out and then release. And once you release, you basically get a, uh, a little uh, indicator for where the text should be. Um, I actually want to think about this in terms of alignment and so forth. So what I can do is uh, basically grab that text tool again and um, basically click from in here to about there so I have it kind of centered between these three images here and then what I'm going to do is type in um, you know watch out for the zombies <laughs> because that's what we're talking about here uh, on the site and then you'll notice it's real small that the type uh, right now but I can highlight it and up here in the top we have the text option so you can click open this whole text panel here uh, but you can also you know choose different typefaces here uh, by default it's set to Arial but uh, you know I could choose whatever typefaces I want here uh, the way it works you know it defaults to Arial and then it goes to these other typefaces based upon your individual computer so uh, but you can try out different ones along here. You can actually go to the web fonts also if I click on this web font category. And um, there is an add web font. So if you click on that, what will happen is it will open up the, this uh, widget here, which basically allows you to add type kit web fonts, edge web fonts, or self-hosted web fonts. I'm going to click on um, you know, this one here, the edge web. I mean, I mean they're basically these two are, are free if you have membership um, you know these are included in here I mean if I click on this you know basically let me click get started you know here we are for the web fonts and you can filter by different categories if you click on the filter menu here you can uh, work by sans serif or serifs um, and you can pretty much like hover over these and if you want for example the serifs It'll isolate all the serif fonts and, or typefaces, and you can like cycle through and see which ones you like. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if I find one that I'm kind of interested in. Let's so scroll through here. Um, like maybe I like this Matrix uh, Two one. So all I gotta do is click on it and then click OK, and then it'll say Adding Web Fonts, and it'll take a few seconds here, and it'll actually load it into WMuse and click OK. And then when I click up here under the web fonts, there it is, the Matrix 2. And it has different options here. So uh, I can choose the bold and click out, and there it is for this particular typeface. Let's go ahead and increase it uh, maybe to about, I don't know, 24. No, I need to go definitely higher than that, maybe 48. Yeah, I want this to kind of be big here. Uh, if I open up the text panel, I want it to center, align center. And then. Um, you know, I may want to change the color of this. Uh, black might not be my color, so click in here. Maybe I like white on the green. That looks kind of cool. And, um, you know, there's other options here. I mean, in the text option box here, you can adjust the uh, the tracking and, and letting and so forth. Uh, I think the those are okay for right now. So let me click out here. And all you gotta do is basically click on your the top arrow tool to escape out. Once I do that, I can select the edge of the type here and apply effects. So under the effects menu here, I can add, for example, uh, a drop shadow, a bevel, or a glow. I'm thinking of a, a shadow here. As I click on this, nothing happens. You have to actually check this little box shadow. And then there you can kind of see the preview of the shadow here. Color's fine, opacity's fine, but um, maybe I want to decrease the blur a little bit so I have a little bit more sharpness. Angle seems fine, but maybe I want to, you know, bring it just a little bit tighter in. Um, maybe I do want to uh, change the angle just a little bit here. Um, as I click away, can adjust that. 
So something like that looks kind of cool. And let's see, might increase the opacity just a little bit more, just so it has a little more pop to it. And then click out. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I like this, the watch for the zombies. Or I should say watch out for the zombies. So let's double click in here. Let's edit that. Just type in uh, O-U-T, watch out for the zombies. And then click out, and that looks pretty good. The last thing I want to do is maybe have um, like zombie 1, zombie 2, zombie 3 at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and just bring this down just a little bit lower here. And I want to give some spacing for these. So I can click on these and I can hold shift to select all three and drag them down uh, basically to line them up. You know, I'm thinking like right about there will probably be good. And then uh, I'm going to add a text box again. So right here between these two. And I will call this zombie one zombie maybe I'll use even number one <laughs> make it even better uh, so I have that I actually think Ariel uh, looks okay for this one and I'm gonna increase this size maybe to 18 points that looks a little better and then in the text option I'm gonna center the text and I think I'm actually gonna leave it black on this one so uh, now I just need to I think move it down just a little bit I want it to be a little bit closer to this uh, zombie icon. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So now what I can do if I want to duplicate this, I can just hold Alt or Option. And uh, as I hold Shift, I can basically make copies of this real easy. You know, um, so I can just drag it. Whoops, looks like I grabbed two of them. Uh, so I want to just grab that one. Let me click out, grab that one, and then hold Option again, and then Shift to make the third one here. So again, to rename them, just double click, type in two, double click, uh, click in here, and whoops, get the three, and then click out, and that looks pretty good. Zombie one, two, and three, watch out for the zombies. So let's go ahead and preview this, see how it looks. Click on the preview button here, and check it out, zombie one, two, and three. I may adjust this eventually, maybe have it up a little bit higher. Um, you know, spacing and so forth can definitely be, you know, finessed. But this is a basic introduction to working with type in uh, Adobe Muse CC. Until next time, cheers.